Well, I made it to Kansas City. A couple miles from Bob's house. Had two close calls along the way, but both of the close calls were less than 100 miles from my house. One was about 10 miles from my house. I had a guy that pulled over into my lane on the oncoming lane trying to pass two bikers, but fortunately as soon as he got over he saw me and went right back. That one would have been bad. Might not have killed me, but I would have at least had to go off the gravel and probably into the ditch if that guy hadn't got back in his lane right away. he would have only given me maybe about a second and a half of time. So that was the first call. And then just before I got about 100 miles out of town when I was still going south on 47, this guy in a small SUV decided to pull out of a parking lot right in front of an oncoming semi. And the way he was doing it, he was pulling out like from the left parking lot, coming out and in front of me, but he would have been in front well, he did succeed in getting in front of the car in front of me, but man, he missed by less than three foot of that semi just hitting him sideways, and I could picture the way it would have ended up hitting is he would have probably flipped over. The car in front of me was like about like that road right there, about that distance. He would have gotten hit, flipped over that one, probably not hit him at all, and squished me like a pancake. But I... I watching the truck driver when he pulled out because I'm like that guy's put, pulling up way too close and the truck driver reacted way ahead of time must have been like a biker that expected somebody to do something idiotic like that or had it happen enough times and uh, you could tell he, he didn't even have time to do the brake but I could tell he'd let off the throttle I could see by the motion of the truck and he gained that guy just enough time not to get hit so those were my two close calls And then after that, smooth sailing, nothing even, uh, nobody even did anything kind of scary or anything like that. Everybody gave me plenty of room, didn't cut me off or anything like that. Gave me plenty extra. Dodged quite a few storms, in fact, coming through just before I got to Kansas City, I was at Concordia. And I could see there was a storm to the south, which is that one over there still. It's still lingering to the south. And there was one to the north, and I had to kind of thread the needle there. Oh, don't want that. I don't want to turn left. But I did get sprinkled on a couple times. Once, just before going into southern Illinois, just before I got to Champaign, I got sprinkled on just a little bit. And then Dodging these storms, I still caught some sprinkles, but no downpour and no having to put on reindeer. What helped was I saw guys coming out of Kansas City the other direction on motorcycles, and I figured, well, if they're not wearing rain gear, and uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of them were wearing just nothing but pants and a t-shirt, then they probably didn't think it was enough rain to worry about, so I'll take a chance to. Because the way it is right now, it's comfortable, but if I had to put rain gear on besides, even with it overcast, it would have been pretty hot and sweaty. So. rain. Now the biggest part of this storm was headed north right towards Navy Thomas 8 so we will see if he uh, waited for the storm. I suggest that he probably wait till past 10 or 11 o'clock and see if the storm could pass him up so we will see when I get to Bob's if he's there already or not. Even so, he would have, I mean, if he'd have waited till noon, he would have beat me anyway, because he's just up in Omaha, so for him, Omaha to Kansas City, that's nothing. Now, let's see if I can remember the turnoff. I've missed it a few times before and had to go back around. I guess I've got just a little ways to go. I think it's that shopping center up there. This one. Uh, 
where the hell is it? I think it's... I think I'm going to have to probably go around again. I think I did miss it. I can barely walk and chew gum at the same time. One more down. let them know you arrived <sighs> let's see add 45 miles to this total to be hey Bob how's it going bro you got here earlier than I thought you were gonna get here <laughs> yeah I had to dodge I had to thread the needle through two storms one was to the north one was to the south I timed it just perfect I'm like I can either sit around for an hour or I can try to thread it between them and I did it yep I still got sprinkled on a few times, but didn't get any downpours. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, bike held up minus one thing that we're going to have to fix.